The Conehead Marabou Deceiver is very similar to another fly video I made called the Square Tail Marabou Deceiver. The only real difference is that this has a cone head to give it some weight. Even though it is so similar, the cone head changes the way you tie the fly. We're going to start by adding a cone head to our hook, then we will wrap a thread base all the way to the bend of the hook. I am using a Gamagatsu SS15 hook in size 2, but this fly can be tied in a number of sizes with any hook that has a long shank. And don't forget to add head cement to your fly. Now you can take a few strands of crystal flash and tie them in in the center. And fold them over on themselves and tie in that side as well. Now lay a full marabou feather on top of your hook and wrap it around the hook shank. Tie it in so the feather engulfs the hook. Then clip off the excess. Now tie in some flashaboo at the center of the flashaboo clump. Then fold it over on itself and tie that side in as well. Make sure the flashaboo is on both sides of the marabou. Rotate the fly over and tie in another few strands of flashaboo in the same manner on the underside of the fly. To assist in tying in multiple strands of flashaboo, you can wet your fingers and run them over the flashaboo. This will keep all the strands together. We are now going to trim the marabou tail. We want to cut it off square, about double the length of the hook. Now you want to measure a clump of bucktail for your top wing. Once measured, make sure and prepare it properly. For more information on preparing bucktail, click the bucktail link above. Or if you are viewing on a mobile device, the link is in the description. To tie in the bucktail, put the end of the clump under the cone head collar. Then tie it in with some tight wraps. Now rotate the fly over in the vise and measure another clump of bucktail. This should be slightly smaller than the top clump. Tie this in in the same manner as the top wing. Now rotate the fly so the side of the fly is at easy access. Measure and prepare another clump of bucktail and tie it in in the same manner as the other two clumps. In this case, I am using a matching color to the marabou, but you can get creative and play with colors. Now tie in another clump on the other side of the fly, then smooth out the head of the fly with a few wraps. Now, add a few strands of red crystal flash on the bottom of the fly to look like a gill. Do this by cutting off one side square, then tie it in so the ends are just past the bend of the hook. Then fold it over, tie in the other side, and clip it off in the same length as the previous side. Now you can whip finish the fly. To add eyes to the fly, put the eyes on and slide them up under the cone head a bit. Make sure the eyes are even. Now we will epoxy the eyes in, which will also make the thread wrap very durable. This epoxy formula is made by Solarez. It is their thin, hard formula. It is great for these types of applications. It is thin enough to penetrate the thread wraps, but thick enough so it will not drip. Make sure the epoxy is smooth and in the right shape before curing. Using these light curing resins is so much easier and quicker than the previous way of using five minute epoxy. Now rotate the fly and we will epoxy the bottom part of the eyes in the same manner as the top. I like doing this in steps. It allows me to really make sure that the eyes are in place correctly.
Now for the final step. I like to add a new formula by Solarez called Bone Dry. This stuff is very thin, cures super hard and quickly. It also has a really nice gloss to it, and there's no tackiness whatsoever. This just smooths everything over and ensures I didn't miss any spots with my previous epoxy. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish. <laughs>